Hello and welcome to a very special Gun Battle Operation 2 featuring the Akai Recon Type TB. It first appears in the Thunderbolt anime, not the manga, and it's a quite an interesting little uh, element to the trio of Akai's we got during that uh, release. In game, it's a ground only support type at the cost of 300 and I believe up to 350 potentially, with a ballistic and beam resistance of 12, a melee resistance of 6, a range strength of 25, a melee strength of 5, a movement speed of a not really that bad, 120, color me surprised, and a thrust gauge of 50. For parts we have close range and medium of 5, and long range of 10. For equipment, we have the Arm Mounted Vulcan TB. Basically, it's a uh, machine gun. It does decent enough damage, uh, somewhat equivalent to um, the Head Vulcan, but it fires two rounds at a time. So you do kind of double that up, so you get some beefy damage out of it. It's good at uh, chipping people down. We have the Arm Beam Saber TB. It's a beam saber, it's not too bad. We have the rocket launcher TB times two. It fires a um, couple rockets. Uh, I think they're staggered fire. And they go boop, 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 boop. And they're kind of slow between shots. But it can be pretty good for doing some damage out there. And definitely good for dropping on targets that have been toppled. Then we have the rocket launcher chain explosion TB times two. Oh my lord. Uh, the damage is pretty good, and what it does is, if you see the little icons there, it drops kind of like a napalm, like the Zasa, and a couple other units. Um, kind of an aerial area denial unit, or a weapon. Pretty decent, and it's kind of nice to be able to have. And of course, we have the sensor arm. Uh, it's effectively. Uh, kind of a pulse based sensor that helps enhance your uh, your team's uh, sensory equipment and if you're not moving and crouching it gets a little bit better it's not bad it's nice and it's pretty good if you're uh, trying to catch up with your team or you're trying to scout out potential stealth type targets though I don't believe it takes off stealth High performance radar level 2 for skills, observational data link, frontline support system, stealth, anti jamming level 2, high performance balancers are a nice surprise, leg shock absorber level 2, anti blast stabilizer, special head buffer level 2, aquatic mobile shooting, uh, resist move, which is an interesting one to have, and Precision Analysis System Level 3. I'm going to say this. It is, as weird as it is, this might be one of the supports I enjoy probably the most in-game. It's fairly basic. It has a few reliable but kind of seen-before uh, weapons. And the sensor arm is not the greatest thing to ever exist. It's a nice addition. Um, but I did enjoy playing it. It's probably in my top five. It's fairly quick. It's fairly mobile. It can put up a fight and hang with its team. It's effectively closer to what I think support should be than what they've been for a very, very long time. It's an overall very effective support unit that's what i'm gonna say so let's see how it does in the match to come hello and welcome to the match everybody i have to say this i had a meta recording with the act guy as my cat yells at me and uh oh the act guy uh, this one anyways and um it crashed in the last minute of the match because one, they, whoever was running the room decided to just drop out. So this is my um, one of my later recordings in this suit. Took me a little bit to get one. And um, at least one that I thought was good enough to show. 
I, I don't really like trounce matches very much. So we're going to drop in and we're going to go ahead and start using our sensor arm because I was hoping to be able to catch a little bit of a, some an enemy on there and help my team out a bit, but I'm not seeing much, so we're going to switch over to uh, what I'm going to just call the napalm missiles and we're going to come up and support our D here and take a couple shots down the road and we're going to switch over to the machine gun which does pretty respectable damage because it's firing two bullets at once. And um, we're just going to come in, drop that napalm mania. Toppled guy, get hit from the side, turn, go back, and we're going to try to follow up on our guy, pop in some of those uh, napalm rounds in, and then using the uh, machine gun to take him out. Shazam. Ooh, there is a missile. And let's see, one is over there, our Zaku, he's taking out a guy that we helped damage. So our team's doing pretty good, and um, much to my shock as the match goes on, I realized we are actually facing an entire team of Thunderbolt Act guys. I was not prepared for this, and nor was my team, I don't think. <laughs> so I'm switching between some of these to do as much fire suppression as I can as I get smacked from behind by my guys. And I see uh, we're going to have some... Um, enemy friendly fire tradition coming in so I'm just gonna go ahead and move away because it's always on me even when it's not so we're gonna help uh, try to dislodge that guy and then I'm gonna come over and try to help back up uh, one we're gonna help take out uh, this, the, the other support variant of this act guy and the great thing about it is it's actually fairly speedy and nimble and you can just kind of switch between what you're using to get a good amount of damage out of it. We're gonna fight our general brother about for a couple seconds. We're kind of sandwiched. We're gonna switch over to a beam saber, give a good smack, and get taken out for our first death. Not too shabby. So we're gonna spawn in at A. Switch over to our sensor arm, and we're gonna move up a little bit, drop into the kneeling position, and then do a little bit of scanning we can see the support being picked up on the radar there and uh, we're going to move up because we see our teams in a bit of a struggle session so we're going to come up and try to support our Zaku you know you got to always support your Zaku number one rule with mobile suits so I'm trying to come up and I want to dislodge the support there but since they're going there, I was going to go ahead and just push forward and use a little bit of my firepower to um, dissuade their front line a bit. Um, we're in a bit of a shooting match with the general, but we're going to win that match if he keeps it up. But he's an aggressive dude. I got to give him props there. So we're going to uh, focus on him. Uh, we're going to get hit by a mine or two, and that's going to knock us. But we're going to drop some fire in there, help finish him off real quick. Oh, it's uh, the other support man. Give him a little smack with a nerf. And we're going to uh, just continue to bomb and weave where we can. He's going to desperation uh, charge. We're going to take him out with the beam saber. Never thought I'd say that with an ack guy and not be taking the ack guy out. But hey, life's weird that way. And um, we're going to try to keep up with three here so we can kind of be a, uh, the follow-up master. They're taking B. There's the Zaku one with the very nice uh, bazooka from the Zaku one. Hey, you use what you got. You know. We're going to throw a couple napalm shots. Now I do that in corners in the hopes of keeping people from uh, corner camping too easily. Because uh, even though a small amount of damage will often get people not want to uh, want to hang around. So we're going to try to back up our guy at F and try to at least make them have to pay some degree of a price for, well, targeting an unoccupied suit. We did a little bit of damage, uh, even though, unfortunately, we're fighting two supports. Okay, cool. Um, very supportive. We're going to throw those down, try to help our guy accidentally go into the sensor arm then back off, see that he's getting overwhelmed, hit that guy with the beam saber to try to knock him out of it, and I was trying to push my body over into the support fire before I died, but death took me first. 
So we're gonna spawn in at our base. We saw a guy uh, creeping his way over here. So again, we're gonna be backing up the Zaku one. And I'm gonna switch over to the napalm to fire a couple shots around the corner. I'm gonna watch him go around the opposite corner. We're gonna try to come up on him. Uh, not let him get too close, but catch him with the melee to get him to stop and then let our guys basically take him out. So that prevents the at least base bombing as uh, we're, we're in a position where that would probably uh, clinch the game for them. So we're going to push up with our um, little short king brethren in the Akagai family. Hang around a corner for a second and then notice, yeah, they're over at a corner. So let's fire some napalm and hit the wrong corner. Good job, me. I'm going to try to dissuade this guy with a lot of machine gun bullets. But um, also I'm going to catch the one guy low on health, help narrow the score a bit. And I'm going to keep just throwing uh, rockets and napalm down the way as, again, tradition smacks me across the face. Can't get through a match without it. And we're going to push up. Our team's going to take advantage of the, uh, the low uh, health units. And we're just going to continue pushing a little bit. We see uh, this guy. I believe that's the general, if I'm not mistaken. And we're going to pursue him a bit. We're going to let our other guy take some lead on it. And, uh, well, we're just going to try to be annoying. Um, he was trying to target us, but that man, he took his eye off number two. And in the end, he paid for it like I did. But I believe I can say this, that we have officially taken the lead in this game. And that's uh, the match, as far as I'm concerned. Though, style points on that general there. I'm trying to shank somebody in a mobile suit. Very impressive. So, let's see how we did. Alright. Whenever you feel like, gang. And, yep, that's a victory pose. My little unicorn horn. Took one spot on the board. And third place. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.